Caribbean to me is tranquility. It's peaceful. This hair is a stress-free zone. Take it easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> people come here to have great food. There's a beautiful ocean to swim in, great people. It's just a great place to be. Being able to ride a jet ski, you're able to get to some places and you can be in a world of your own. I would say one of the best things about jet skiing is unlike other modes of transportation out on the water, you're able to control your own jet ski and take in beautiful views. One of the beautiful things about our coastline is there's so many beaches, you know, Antigua is very famous for 365 beaches, one for every day in the year. It's amazing. We try to show you as many of them as we can. One of the things that makes a Caribbean special is, I think, our pace. It allows you to relax and just take a step back. I always said, you know, when, when I come here, I can hear my heartbeat and that is an amazing feeling. I find people to live a lot longer down here and you wonder why. Um, sometimes you wonder if it's the, the beer or the rum or if it's just, you know, them just taking it easy and just relaxing, you know? And that's the beauty of our island. You know? Nature is everything for me. I love nature. This is a nature trail with waterfall, mud bath, and mineral bath as well. An authentic St. Lucian experience. It's a wonderful experience for nature lovers. The highlight is the waterfall, sapphire waterfall. What makes it special is the ambience, the natural feeling, the sound of the waterfall, the sound of the breeze blowing through the trees, the aroma of the, the flowers and the plants. You apply the mud on the skin, what it does, it removes all of the toxins from the body. And you come out 10 years younger. I am 110. I like to share my knowledge, share my passion. That's why we open up the trail so that all could come in and experience it, you know. So I invite them into my garden. The garden is my life. They are actually amazed. They never thought that they would see such a beautiful garden in the middle of nowhere. So that's why I call it the best kept secret of St. Lucia and also the hidden gem. This is Romney Manor, home of Caribel Boutique in St. Kitts. It was once an estate home and some of the building behind us is part of the original building. We now produce batik, which is an Indonesian art. However, we have adopted it and done our own Caribbean twist. We are actually inspired by our vibrant surroundings. We usually start off on a white piece of material. We wax that piece and then we dye it. And from that process, it then goes into the soaking. This is where we soak all of the excess dyes away and then we boil it out. After it's boiled, we hang it out to dry, and because we usually have a lot of sunshine, it dries rather quickly. The highlight of the tour is where you get to do your own batik. I love teaching people what we know, giving them a piece of St. Kitts to take back with them. People from St. Kitts are called Kittitians, and we are very proud of it. We are full of history, the people are fun-loving, friendly, we are full of culture, and we just have a sense of pride. The smile from ear to ear, I must say. When people come and hear about swimming with the horses, they're like, oh my God, we're doing it. Our oh, horseback riding got a little bit of everything on it. A little bit of fast walking, a little bit of chipping, just go with the rhythm. For me, I would say, from my experience of doing this, I would say the highlight of the tour is 
most of the people can't get to go into the water. So they come here to go into the water and swim with the horses, and they like that. Horses are, for me, I wouldn't say freedom. If you've never done horseback riding before, Antigua is where you need to be. Riding on the beach, let water splash on your feet, maybe in your face. Come out here and do some riding. The helicopter tour to Montserrat is a unique experience. It's really the only way to see the Super Hills Volcano. It's an experience where you're seeing a contrast between the deep greens and jungles of Montserrat, the area surrounding the volcano, and the desolation the volcano itself has caused. I've been flying for over 30 years, but every time I get in a helicopter, I still feel like a little kid. The Caribbean is special for me because it gives me peace, for sure. The Caribbean is God's gift. I am so blessed to be here. I really, truly am. The people are wonderful. The scenery is wonderful. I mean, there's beauty everywhere you look. Paint and sip is a great experience. It's a creative thing that you can do, whether you have experience or not. It's fun interesting, it's relaxing, and I think it's for everybody. Most of the paintings I do with people are based on scenery from this island. I inspire people to create what they feel. I encourage people to make it their own. I find it almost a meditation for me. I feel like things just come out on the canvas and it it's fun, it's amazing, I'm surprising myself. <laughs> and I really enjoy that. I find people are actually liberated by it. Most people are really proud and amazed. Painting is just really wonderful. It's enjoyable, it's a meditation. It just opens a person up. It makes you look at what's around you. In the Caribbean, we are the ones that have the cuisine. It's, it's a passion, it's a pastime as well. We cook to relax, to enjoy life. I love an evening at Oystins in Barbados. You're at a giant barbecue by the beach. The atmosphere is second to none. It blows me away. The immediacy, the vibrancy, and the intensity of the experience. You cannot have that in any restaurant in the world, but here. What really appeals to me about the Caribbean yeah, the climate's great and the ocean's amazing. It's the people. It's the welcome they give you. There's such warmth and natural hospitality. They really want to show you why they're so proud of their islands. And the simple truth is, it's paradise on Earth. I feel a great joy in getting involved in this. at Hotel Chocolat, which is situated at the Rabo Estate. Our main aim of coming to the island of St. Lucia was to revitalize the cocoa industry, to bring back the legacy of the fruit or the crop called cocoa. So when you visit Hotel Chocolat or Project Chocolat, you get to engage in crafting a hand chocolate bar of your own. We believe in authenticity, ethics. We're 100% organic. With our menu at Hotel Chocolat or Project Chocolat, we always infuse cocoa in our dishes. We believe more cocoa, less sugar. And this is our motto that we go by. I think we make the best chocolate in the world. Do you like chocolate? Um, yes. <laughs> St. Lucia, on the whole, is a beautiful island. It's a beautiful experience by speedboats. 
We leave Port Castries. We then cruise along the west coast of the island. Along the way, heading down into Soufre, you get to enter Marigo Bay. And of course, you get to see the landscape of the island. And then you get to see the pitons, which of course is the highlight of St. Lucia. They are lava domes. They were formed as a result of a volcanic eruption. And of course, they are part of the World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. When you hear Caribbean, it just reminds you of tranquility. I will consider myself blessed to be on this beautiful island. <laughs>